All right. Okay. All right, one person joined, so let's start. Uh, I just had the live like 50 minutes ago, but I had many requests again, so I'm doing it again. So uh, this is the joint uh, dislocation reduction technique task trainer, okay? So let's say finger, okay? So let's say you're playing basketball and then ball hit this part and then this bone come on top like that okay this happens yes this happened to the other fingers yes but this is the most common finger okay so if this happened you have to put it back fix it reduce it okay push and pull the extension snaps okay and you can do that as many as you want and also tension is adjustable okay so this will sell uh this is for the great this is great tool for uh, orthopedic emergency medicine doctors because there is no way to practice reduction technique. Every actual reduction is the practice, okay? But no more, no more waiting. You can practice as, as many as you want. Finger model, snaps, okay? This is the elbow model. Hi, are you by any chance looking to get a website forward? No, I told you once, no. Okay, so this, this is elbow dislocation model. Okay, it's dislocated posterior. Let's say, think about if you're, you know, uh, losing the balance, you're trying to catch yourself, and then this happens. Okay, so a couple of different techniques, reduction techniques. Uh, one is patients on the exam table facing down, okay, like this, okay, and then elbow is on the edge of the table, okay, and then little extension, okay and then pull down, okay? If you do that, it's reduced now, okay? Again, dislocate it. Reduced, okay? Tension is adjustable, so, you know, you can, uh, <coughs> first, just a technique, you know, make it loose, and then, uh, get better and then make it, you know, just harder setting. Just be realistic because you might, it might happen, right? 300 pound, 350 pound football player, dislocated elbow and you are the only one healthcare provider. It might happen, okay? So that's the case. All you want to do is ask somebody to pull the full, uh, upper arm, which, you know, usually you was attached to the body anyway, so you don't need to hold it down hard, okay? Use your both hand and then pull down, okay, to achieve, okay. Another technique would be patients on the, on the ground, okay, just think this is the ground, okay, and put your body weights and then, okay, like that. So it depends, depends, okay. All right. So we did the finger and then, uh, uh, Elbow, so now we go into the shoulder. Okay, so this is the shoulder model, shoulder dislocation simulator. It's a task trainer, so it had skin with it, so you cannot see what's going on inside. But this is it's dislocated, okay, anterior. Okay, so this is the left shoulder model. Okay, this is uh, 
Thanks. Modified Hippocratic technique, I would say. True Hippocratic is you are supposed to put your feet under the armpit, okay? I don't do that, okay? So I use my left hand, put the on the side of the chest, okay? And push to that way, okay? Use the right hand, hold the wrist, okay? So push and pull and also turn the doorknob, extra rotation. If you do all that, what's here? Clunk, okay? That's very really close to how they feel like when it's really dislocated. All right, hey, give me a, hey, give me my arm back. Sorry, it's all taken, Bubba. Oh, okay. All right, one more time. Okay. So it's. It is dislocated, okay? It's dislocated, so I can show you on this one. So this is the shorter model, okay? Without the skin, this part. So this ball is supposed to be over here, but it dislocated, it's come to the front, dislocated out, okay? So how are you gonna put it back? Okay, so you're gonna push, Okay, counter traction, and also counter traction, this way, push and pull, and then extra rotation. All together, if you do that, you'll go back into the socket. Okay. All right. You use these attacks for self-defense? No, no, no. It's, I'm a... Athletic trainer, so let's say you play sports and you got dislocated shoulder, elbow, finger, kneecap, ankle. Uh, we are the first responder. And then, uh, you know, with the test steps, and then if it's not fracture, then I reduce dislocated joint. So, but there is no way to practice those techniques. So I came up with this uh, task trainer so you can practice, you can, you know, you can act on it when you see it. Mine is just, uh, this model is just the joint, joint models, so. Scapula dislocated, sandwich iron, very good. Okay. All right. Uh, the next one is the, the biggest clunk. It's a hip dislocation simulator, okay? It's a hip dislocation model, okay? So, uh, I hope you know guys don't get in a car accident, but what if, uh, you know, knee, uh, hit, hit the dashboard and body goes forward. So hip going to dislocate to the back. Okay. All right. So this is the left hip model. Okay. Okay. Now it's in the joint. I don't know if you can see it get closer. Okay. So it's in the joint right now. Okay. But this location happened and they go to the back like that. Okay. All right. Now this tension is set and you dislocate it. Okay. And this technique called Captain Morgan technique. I did not name it. Some drunk uh, healthcare provider decided to name it uh, Captain Morgan, right? He put his neck, legs on a barrel, 90 degrees. You bring the patient's knee to 90 degrees, okay? And you put your knee underneath. And then it's a physics, right? You put your, you, you push down the patient's toes down, this is gonna come up, okay? Watch here. So. That's the Captain Moger technique. All right, anybody got a questions, anything? Anybody in Texas?
Hello. Hey, everybody's pretty quiet, huh? Okay, uh, I have a more time than food. You uh, all right again, finger dislocation simulator. This can simulate dislocation, but also you have to. This is task trainer, you have to learn how to produce how to hold a certain part of. Part, Starting part of the body and how to apply pressure this time to push and pull and if you do that Snap that's how you put it back. Okay This is the elbow model, okay It's dislocated, okay, this happened like uh, you are Somebody got somebody push you and you losing balance and trying to catch yourself on this position and then this happens so yeah okay so a couple of different techniques one is uh, uh, patients on the exam table or stretcher okay and then uh, uh, face down okay and then the elbows like this hanging on the edge of the table okay and what you want to do is little extension and then pull down. If you do that, that's it. Okay. Again, little extension and pull down. That's it. So, all right. Okay. Anybody got a question? Anything? Well, it's pretty quiet this time, huh? Okay, well, if you don't have any questions, I'm gonna end this session. Thank you.